<laughs> and of course, with jazz, Susie Dent. Susie Dan has written 14 books. I wish I knew the secret to writing an engaging, entertaining non-fiction book, because if I did, I'd tell Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, what have you been looking into recently? Uh, well, uh, genuinely, I have been looking into glory holes, before you ask. <laughs> uh, yes! <laughs> In the Oxford English Dictionary, so I've just been following what it's meant over time, and it started off meaning just a, a corner where you would just heap everything together. That was the first glory hole. Yes, yeah, sounds about right. Um, <laughs> then it was a hall where the Salvation Army practised. Sounds um, about right. Sounds about right. <laughs> um, and then it was a deep opening in a mine. Sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> and in charge of the numbers, it's Rachel Riley. Rachel Wiley, or as I like to think of her, Abacus Barbie. <laughs> I love it. You've described regular countdown as the side of yourself you'd show your grandparents and Cat's Countdown as the side you'd show your mates. Yeah. Who's the real Rachel? I think everyone, you get it, don't you? Everyone's a bit of a mix. I think with most grandparents, you have to watch your words a little bit. But I didn't with my grandma, because grew up in the war, she's from Salford, she also was a dinner lady. But she thought that she was the reincarnated spirit of Cleopatra. <laughs> Do you think Cleopatra would have been gutted to know she came back as a dinner lady? <laughs> <laughs> OK, the prize that seems to be competing for tonight is this, the Countdown Melodica. <laughs> please, please. A little bit of quiet, please. This has been a month's rehearsal. Hit it. <laughs> First numbers round. OK, Sarah, Rod, your turn to pick the numbers. If you were not good at maths, for example, well, what depends. would you do? If you want to have a shot of getting it, I'd probably yeah. go too large. But if you want to screw not just yourselves over, but the other team over, then you could go four large. They, they, they don't oh, need to be screwed over. No! no. Yeah. Oh, if you want hard. Judy not to get it, just play the game. <laughs> <laughs> go for the easy one. I don't want that team to lose interest completely. <laughs> Well, I, I think that shit may have sailed. Seven, <laughs> seven, oh. five, what do we do? 75, write them down, no. write them down. and 100. Oh, Look God. like you know what you're doing, Flower. Write them that's down. What and the target, 565. What, that's oh, the number God. we've got to get? Yeah. Uh, your time starts... Oh, shit. ...now. <laughs> what was it? 565. <laughs> Rod, did you did you get it? Five got, five six eight got it. I've got five six four, Ooh, I think. Well done. Five six oh, four, no, pretty close. Right okay, though. Joe, did you get it? I got five six six. I got five six five. How did you get 565? Five, five? I did 100 times 5, right? Yeah. yeah. Add 75. Yeah. yeah. Take away 5. Yeah. Take away 5. Uh. Which 5? Oh, There's yeah. two fi Oh, no, uh. there's two 5s. <laughs> no. I'm confused, right? Look, so, so you, got we've got to use those here. numbers. Right, so take away that... No. And no, one 5 no, here. No, no, no. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> I was born in the 80s, and the way we did maths was a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were so close. Um, thank you. Sarah, you how so did you close. get you. Uh, 564? Written it down wrong. It's 566 is what I got. So it's one the other way. OK, go on. Um, 5 multiplied by 100 plus 75 minus both of the 7s plus the 5. Yeah. Uh, Joe, did you get it the same way? Yeah, did it the same way. I wasn't far. Yeah, you, you were. Oh, no, no, you were so no, you close. were. So, no, you were. So I'm, I'm listening to the I Don. Feel... She said I wasn't far. All you needed to do was take off one more five. Yeah. So if you do seven over seven is one. Yeah. And then you do a hundred <laughs> minus one ninety nine. Uh -huh. They need times it by five. Yeah. You get four hundred and ninety five, and then you just you can carry on. Yeah. Seventy five. Look, and the I five. think my paper looks just like yours, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> just one little one different. Seven points to both teams. 
And here is your teaser. The words are rod balls. The clue is they're hard as concrete. That's rod balls. They're hard as concrete. See you after the break. To go head to head, uh, Judy, your turn to pick the numbers. At the top, you want all the top. We want three. <laughs> two. Oh my god! Oh uh, my god! Four top. Four top. Yeah. Oh god! One middle. <laughs> yeah. One middle. <laughs> one bottom. One bottom. Confident. Four that's large. What, that's what I'm saying. Four go tops. Right. Okay. We're going top heavy. Right. The <laughs> little ones. Nine. You and going five. top heavy? Five. Right. And then we've got seventy-five, twenty-five. 50 and 100. 229. OK. And your time starts now. Oh, it's all the to noise, play for. The noise is making me nervous. What have we got to get? 229. The target was uh, 229. Oh. Judy, did Joe get it? Um, <laughs> I'm so nervous, I need Joe to explain it for me. <laughs> you got it! Wow! Oh, that's that breath. That's well, amazing. Said. Well done. Rob, did Sarah get it? No. I think so. Right. I think but, uh, 230. Well, for the sake of argument, Judy, how did you get it? 100, right? Yeah. Yes. Add 75. Yes. Yeah. Right? Add 50. Yes. Yeah. And then yeah. I did, right, the nine... Yes. ..take away yes. the five motherfuckers. You got it! Two, two, nine. Yeah. Well done. I'm going to call it and say everyone was cheating, no points to anyone. What?! You've made a mockery of the most boring bit of the show. <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah and Rod have 14 points, Joe and Judy have 21. <laughs> Social countdown conundrum, okay? Winner takes all. Your time starts now. <laughs> Joe likes it for the win. Is it money bags? Oh, it is. He's got it. Joe Lysett and Judy Love. It came down to the wire, but the final scores are Sarah and Rod have 27, Judy and Joe have 37 points. You're now the proud owners of this, the Countdown Melodica. <laughs> Thanks to all our panelists, our wonderful studio audience, and to all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night. <laughs>